It's Youth Month. We're talking about it throughout the month. It's a time to reflect on the young people who fought against the apartheid regime and the young adults who inspire many youngsters today. Well, a very, very special lady we have with us uh, from the Sabisi Gallery. It's the owner, Tandi Sabisi, who joins us looking beautiful as well this morning. Tandi, good morning to you. And Youth Month, what does it mean for someone like you that's, that's worked so hard to achieve what you have? Wow, I guess it's just a time for us to, as a youth, to reflect um, on everything that we've been through and also where we want to go and where we are. So it's just the time that I'm spending just sitting and thinking, um, you know, who do I want to be as a person and what change do I want to make and, you know, for myself and the people around me. Where did you get the direction? Where did you get the, the, the idea to come up with an art gallery? Just an idea as a basis for any youngster these days is hard. People say there's no opportunities. It's difficult to find something that they want to do. Just a message for the youth where you got your inspiration. Well, for me, everything that I do is, you know, it's inspired by my heritage. So um, the gallery is just one of the projects that I do amongst many other projects. So everything is just driven around showcasing South Africa to the world and the gallery is just about that. Uh, there's obviously issues in any business that, that you have to deal with. I'm sure that you know surprise to this uh, news earlier in the year of, of payment issues. I don't want to get into details of that. It's, it's one of the mm -hmm. challenges, though, that you've had to face. How are you dealing with, A, that particular challenge as a manager, as an owner, and, and how do you inspire youngsters to deal with the realities? It's, it's not rainbows every day. It's hard to do what you do. How, how do you handle this? Well, for me, I'm actually going to be in business for 10 years this year. So when those things come, um, you know, it's things that come all the time. It's just that now I'm in a um, public platform where everyone, you know, sees everything that I do. But it doesn't, it doesn't move me in any way negative. And it's just, it's just the nature of business. And it's about <laughs> dealing with it, is it not? Yes, yes. When you now look ahead to the next couple of years as well, what uh, the youth of today, is it, is it education, is it entrepreneurship, is it a work experience? Where do you think the South African youth need to get their drive today? I think the one thing that um, fuels me, like I said, are my roots and the fact that I'm a, I'm a South African. And I think the one thing that makes me sad when I look at the youth of today is the fact that they don't look within themselves. They have to look outside for inspiration and they forget that Africa is one of the richest continents. And, um, you know, that's for me in business. I think I struggled for the first few years because I was trying to be something that I was not. And the minute I embraced being a young South African, that's when, you know, things started coming together. So many messages of support for Tata Madiba at the moment, from young to old, from around the world. What's your message for Madiba this morning? That we love him and he's our rock. And right now is the time that we should be his rock. And he's amazing. <laughs> from the mouth of Tani Sabisi to the ears of the nation. Good morning and uh, thank you very much for coming in thank again this morning. You. Lovely chatting to you. Uh, the owner of the well-known Sabisi Gallery, Tani Sabisi, giving us her thoughts on how to make it as a youngster, the youth of South Africa. News that moves. ENCA.com.